I'm Sophie Saxon, I'm 16. I'm Sam Myers, I'm 17. Communication plays a major role in the interior design profession. Some basic skills, such as being able to talk to vendors, clients, and staff, as well as being a good listener, are crucial for interior designers. Interior designers like to express ideas and opinions through various styles, furniture choices, as well as color palettes. For example, some interior designers like to use warm color palettes, while others like to use cool color palettes. Interior designers also need to be able to communicate with their clients about their various wants and needs, such as specific details and finishes. Making connections with clients and companies can benefit their career as well. They can also help to move your career forward in the future. Presentation skills such as being able to communicate concepts and ideas clearly to clients can greatly benefit your career. A job posting on LinkedIn by Provolve for an interior designer position also states a lot of these qualities in their listing. While you might not think that you need a lot of these qualities for your day-to-day -day life, you use them every day at school. These can include pre your presentation skills, your communication skills with your teachers, as well as in group projects. Interior designers also need to possess leadership skills as well as being a team player. Some more helpful qualities are being a good leader, having interpersonal skills, having a team player mindset, as well as listening to others, which that's a major one for a lot of people. Interior designers also need to encourage work and, pro and the progress on, of projects on job sites. This also goes along with the fact that they have to manage job sites as well. I personally think that sports have helped me become a better communicator since I am now a better team player, I have better leadership skills as well as interpersonal skills. Being organized and knowing what you're doing is also a major thing in the interior design industry. Interior designers have to coordinate everything about the project, such as the people like the contractors and construction workers, the different finishes of all the spaces that they coordinate, and what the clients request. They also need to place orders and keep them separated from each other. Interior designers also need to verbally illustrate projects, designs, ideas, and solutions for their clients. In my personal experience, I have had to do these things in Student Council and National Honor Society. In National Honor Society and Student Council, we give our own opinions, we help with visions, solutions, and ideas. We also coordinate lots of events, such as school dances, spirit weeks, donations such as United Way, and community events. Some of these include nursing home, homes, planting flowers, as well as secret families at Christmas time. With these things being said, communication is really that important when it comes to your future job, or in my case, interior design.